Welcome to Vitacrest, the Runkton site. This is a 34 acre or a 14 hectare site growing pot herbs for the major supermarkets of Great Britain. We have about 350 staff on site. What we wanted to do was we wanted to look at using LED lights in our cooling chamber, somewhere where we precondition the plants. Working with Royal Holloway University, we actually found that we could negate the effects of chill damage on the basil crops themselves by using LED lights on a continuous basis. What was really impressive was that we found that by changing the ratio of far red to red, we could get the basil plants to actually be chill tolerant uh, by shining this different ratio of LED light on them for a period of time. So we actually went with heliospectral lights because of the ability to vary the spectrum. The particular problem we had with basil was that we were seeing the shelf life break down after a few days. So we undertook a project with Royal Holloway University. It's quite clear that there was something going on at the cellular level within the leaf. We looked to help fund a student for four years to look at exactly what's going on. They were able to actually find that you can use different wavelengths to trigger cell structure changes depending on what light is actually getting to the leaf. We talked to a number of LED suppliers, but it was really Heliospectra that gave us most confidence about being able to develop uh, lighting going forward. So not just giving us an off-the-shelf unit and that's all we get, but really how we can develop that. The main benefit to us is really our reputation. So can the supermarkets rely on our quality? Can the consumer rely on our quality? And that makes a big difference to us in terms of long-term future supply. So it's all about reputation, about consistent quality of our production. We've got a lot of confidence going forward that we can really build on what we're doing now and do that with Heliospectra. Straight off, we formed a really good partnership with Heliospectra. We're only just beginning to touch the surface of what these particular lights can do. And we've been very impressed with the build quality of them as well. They really look like the lights we've always had, but the abilities are so much greater. So we're actually looking at taking this technology out into the glasshouse itself and using the ability to manipulate the wavelengths to create other benefits to our crops while they're growing under natural light. So it's a really successful story and we hope to see more success in the future. The ability to change the way that the plants perform and behave seems to be unlimited. Uh, we already know that blue light is giving amazing results and far red and red is achieving some shelf life uh, performance benefits as well. So what else will we see in the future? We, we, we are very excited about it and looking forward to it immensely.